From Jazz Fest to the Bayou Classic, the city of New Orleans thrives on tourism and major events. But the city is also plagued with crumbling roads, the threat of floods, and an antiquated sewage system. Both of those arguments came to a head today at the House Ways and Means Committee meeting in the state legislature. The can has been kicked and kicked and kicked. And I said that, hey, I am the woman bending over to pick up that can. Mayor LaToya Cantrell spoke passionately, asking committee members to redirect 0.25% of the hotel motel tax this year and 0.5% in 2021 to the infrastructure fund for the sewage and water board, a department she feels is in desperate need of repair. I have boil water advisories that can come at any given time. I have 111-year-old pipes that can burst again. But we're at a crossroads here. Hurricane season, June 1. That's a fact. Committee members passed a proposal, which now goes before the full House. What you have before you is a very earnest attempt to take down and destroy the largest economic development corporation in Louisiana. Steve Perry with New Orleans and Company also spoke openly about the proposal. He's in charge of marketing for some of the city's biggest economic events. He believes this shift in money is a harmful move. What they did was pass a bill out of ways and means this morning, Rep. Neil Abramson and the mayor, to disassemble New Orleans and company, take uh, away the dollars by which we pay for Super Bowls and Final Fours. Perry says they're still negotiating with the city and the state about how these dollars are shifted. But the mayor is adamant about getting the money to the city and quickly. The state of Louisiana is the fabric of the city of New Orleans, you know, just like I. But if we have another event and we're underwater, then there will be no more Super Bowls. There will be no more Sugar Bowls. There will be no more Essence Festivals, Bayou Classics. That's a fact. Perry says he's already proposed a plan that will provide about $55 million in one-time money and $25 million in recurring revenue. Both the city and tourism leaders are still trying to find a compromise, Ton. Chris, thank you. One of